Hello everybody, it's Friday and I decided I was going to give you a little update. Um, I told you I believed that I was going to a programming competition. Well, things turned out actually pretty well. Um, the web application I was developing with my teammate Dimitri actually won. We were one of the four teams out of 18 to win. Uh, the prizes weren't much, they were just like uh, Google App Engine t-shirts. But it was fun nevertheless, we got a lot of positive feedback and we got a little mention in uh, an online newspaper, the Gazette. Uh, so that was fun. Apart from that, um, I've been getting into a personal project, you know, of uh, composing music. I've been wanting for a while to compose some music, so I bought myself some uh, some gear, you know, to play with some toys and uh, a few books about composing uh, music electronic music and uh, computer software for composing music and synthesizers and all that. And uh, they've been interesting reads so far. Um, also some good news, I guess. Erin's <laughs> been working on losing weight for a while and she's succeeding. She's managed to lose 15-20 uh, pounds and uh, she seems to be able to keep keep it up and all that, so I'm, I'm quite proud of her. Uh, she seems to be, be happier with her uh, body image and all that. Um, and also um, I think I told you I launched a blog at uh, trinygirl15.com and erin has been contributing, she's been posting about how we met. The story of, of uh, how her and I met, told from her perspective. So if, you're wanting to, uh, if you've been wanting to uh, hear more from Erin, you can go to trinygirl15.com and re read all about that. Um, and today's topic <laughs> that I wanted to bring up is something that I believe frustrates matron sexuals. It's uh, the pronouns people use to talk about you. The people talk about you in male or female pronouns. And obviously, as a male or female transsexual, I want people to say she and her when they talk about me, not to use male pronouns. And that can be a little bit tricky, you know. Uh, I find, as a general rule, that the people who knew me before transition have a hard time switching pronouns. Whereas the people I have met after I was full-time have no problem using female pronouns when talking about me. And it is a little bit frustrating. You know, my mom will mess up every once in a while, and sometimes she'll mess up several times in a row. You know, and it's always a little bit irking, you know, annoying. But I think you have to realize that, you know, people who do that aren't necessarily trying to be mean, most often they're not, it's just that when you, you've uh, gotten used to using a certain set of pronouns, it's very hard to, to change. And also, the people who knew you before transition, before you went full-time, if you don't tell them you're transitioning, if you don't tell them what you're doing and the pronouns you want them to use, they might never ever switch. I have found that the people at my previous university where I did my masters, when I go to see them, they screw pronouns all the time because I never told them, you know, hey, by the way, I'm transsexual and I want you to use female pronouns. So I think, you know, it's it's probably something that you uh, you have to discuss with those people. You know, unless, unless people really hate you, you know, they're not trying to be mean, probably. You know, as a matter of fact, you can probably tell when people are screwing pronouns when they're trying to be mean, you know, because they're going to talk to you in a rude way and all that. Uh, but, you know, as a personal experience, I can tell you that one of my long-time internet friends, I had known uh, her online for something like six years, announced to me, you know, a couple of months ago that she was transitioning from male to female. And to this day, I still screw up pronouns every once in a while because I'm just so used, you know, to talking about this person as a guy. And it's hard for me to make the switch, and it's not because I'm bigoted and because I, I don't like transsexuals or because I don't understand, you know, lifestyle choices or anything like that. It's really purely a matter of habit, and I try to correct myself when I catch myself making that mistake. So, you know, my advice to you is if people screw pronouns when they're talking about you, you should probably, you know, give them a little chat about it. And don't don't approach them, like, in a mean manner. You know, like, you're doing something wrong. 
and this is what you should be doing, and you should know that you're insulting me. I think you should approach them, you know, by the way, I am a trans person, I am, you know, I am a woman now, and I find it uncomfortable when you use your pronouns, and please try to use female pronouns, and you'll be gentle with these people, and I think they'll listen to you more. And you might have to remind them every once in a while, you know, it takes time to, to change habits like that, but it's possible. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much what I had to say about the topic. Um, I hope you have uh, a nice weekend. And if you have any comments, feel free to, uh, to post them, feel free to make video responses. And please do visit trainingal15.com and check out uh, our blog. And uh, maybe post comments there too. Bye bye.